Well, I worked some more with this uh, graphene, um, graphite stuff that uh, is one molecule thick. And I did a lot of studying on it, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. But what I can do is I can look at thin, very thin graphite. And this is a uh, piece of plastic lid that I use the uh, powdered graphite and a cotton swab and then uh, rubbed and rubbed and rubbed the graphite on one surface of that until it got really, really shiny. And <clears throat> this is thin graphite. This isn't graphene. But I think some places on that surface are the real deal, the real graphene, because uh, when I look at this just right, I can see spots where uh, it's completely transparent. It's not, uh, it's not even tinted gray. And so I think maybe at some places on that there is the graphene. But let me show you how this works. This is a 9-volt battery. This is an LED. It goes off at about 3 volts. And if I touch this on this uh, plate here, it's conductive. Even though that's very, very, very thin, it's conductive. And the real graphene the, that I've studied, um, that's one of the real advantages to us. It, it passes the electrons very, very, very easily. Despite being very strong, it's also got the ability to transmit the electricity through it very easily and I guess hold the electricity for a supercapacitor. So anyway, this was my attempt to look at very thin graphite. And on the back surface here, just to show you that it's not conductive, nothing happens. It's only on that surface, of course, where I rubbed the graphite on it. And back here on the back side, uh, it's not conductive at all, of course. Now, there's a piece of aluminum foil that I used as a contact point to connect the negative part of the battery. The positive just goes to the positive lead on the LED and then, uh, like I say, you get the, uh, the effect. And this is a very, very simple experiment for anybody to do at their house to take a look at this thin graphite using this uh, powdered graphite. It's for locks. They also use it in the these uh, Pinewood Derby race cars, they sell it at Michael's. You can buy it on Amazon. Five bucks or whatever gets you a tube of that. And it's flaky looking stuff. The real deal, the real powder graphite uh, looks uh, flaky. And then it polishes up really, really well and to a real shiny surface. And you want that real shiny, shiny surface uh, for the real deal. And I just use the, the plastic lid off of... Uh, a container and then uh, cut it out. And there's a name for this type of plastic, but I can't remember the name of it. The Scotch tape, of course, worked quite well too, but I didn't like the fact I was using an adhesive. I'd rather just put it on the surface of something, glass or like this plastic, and see the effect. And there's a lot of videos out there on uh, on this graphene, and I, I'm not going to mention all the names, but I've been studying all of them. And there's all different people doing all kinds of things with this, and they are all adding a little bit to my education on this uh, study of graphene. Thanks for watching.